Jordan Wakabayashi lives in the Harris Apartments. One week ago, she had been broken into twice within a five-day span. I am still kind of worried about it. I mean, we're both of us, we're both, we're pretty jumpy. Um, you know, all, even like little noises, we're kind of like, what is that? With three break-ins in the last month, the uneasiness of the Chapman students is rising. As you can see behind me, all that stands between the intruders and the tenants is an eight-foot fence and a window, causing concern for Chapman as a whole. And they basically forced the window kind of out of its track, slid it over, and were able to get in through the window. Uh, realizing now that we have clearly a pattern. Students like Jordan want to know what precautions are being taken. The fence back there is I think eight feet, seven to eight feet tall, the chain link that's in that back here. We're going to raise that to 10. It may have already been done um, or it's going to be done this week. They replaced all the windows with a dowel or a mechanism that will now not allow it to be pushed and pushed off the track. Uh, facilities did that last week. Um, we installed two cameras on either end of that little alleyway uh, behind there that now give us uh, basically a straight down view of the property. Students have since voiced their opinion on the safety of their homes. I don't feel very safe at all, to be honest. Uh, after that happened, they just came by and gave me a couple sticks to put in the window to prevent people from coming in, but apparently they still broke into the other apartments when the sticks were in place. So. I feel moderately safe. I don't feel like, you know, anybody's going to come kill me or anything. I just, like, I don't want my computer and stuff to get stolen, so. I, I do wish that they would put the bars on the windows. that Because, like, public safety told us, cause we asked them, you know, is there anything else you could do about it? They said that they're trying to get um, bars put in, but they said that a lot of it is a financial issue. Even with the recent break-ins at Chapman University, the crime rate has gone down significantly over the past year. If you see any suspicious activity, do not hesitate to call public safety at 1-714-997-6763. For Chapman News, I'm Vince Sapienza.